Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but... As far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Let's get started then, shall we? <sighs> I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry, we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. What? Uh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> Got that? Uh, oh. Now, let's move. <laughs> it's over. Wow, just look at all of them. I've never seen these kinds before. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah, I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. <sighs> Good thing you've got me here. Sorta of reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house.
so cute and soft too. Perfect for a flower crown. That's a start, but we're definitely gonna need more. Now these are vibrant. So you like deep, passionate reds, do you? I could feel them slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. Thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Come in. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? <clears throat> No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl, especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Ever see that Faz guy again? No, but there are times when I think I do, and I freeze up till I realize it's someone else. I bet. I'm here if you want to talk. Well, actually, I was kind of hoping we could talk business. Uh, what kind of business? You know, business. Boys. Oh, that kind. <laughs> Adjourned for now. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so, how's it looking up top? All the robes are in second class. I haven't seen any sign of Shinra, though. We can ditch the uniforms. Aww. Well, it's been an honor, Captain. Captain. Hey. About this deal Rufus wanted to make with you. I know it's off, thanks to little Miss Ninja's stunt. But personally, I think she did us a favor. Nothing good ever came from making deals with the devil. Shinra can't be trusted, no matter who's in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening, and welcome aboard the Shinra 8. We're sailing smoothly towards Costa del Sol and expect to arrive right on schedule. Though your time with us may be brief, we wish you all a pleasant voyage. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will be holding a Queen's Blood tournament in the lounge. Any and all interested guests are welcome to join regardless of experience. See the lounge staff for details. You heard the man. To the lounge. <laughs> 
Come on. Nice touch. I can tell you're just dying to hit the beach right about now. Ready to rock? Do you even have to ask? You guys should probably put on sunscreen. <laughs> you might want to go first. That's some sage advice, Mr. Pasty. We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ephalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through... I hate him. Sometimes, I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that... It scares me. Everybody's got someone they hate. It's normal. Is it? It doesn't feel normal. What I'm trying to say is, worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Good. Not you. That was to her. My future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me. You'll love her. Just you wait. You're the one who got into it with that Shinra scientist. Oh wow, it is you! I'm Fran. And I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. 
It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So, that's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date, for inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? Hojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor, that's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew that woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. We knew you would! And so, we've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy and run wild! Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. This is one of the stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We can just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Like a walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Do they have sure. a cute one that'll go with my stuff? Ah, memories. Are you ready to aim and fire? Do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. You got this! For a man, I like. I'm better with a sword. She never once took her eyes off her man. And the way she stared at him, the score didn't matter. Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. I'll head back, now that the creative juices are flowing again. You two, however, still have a date to finish. Go find Naomi at Run Wild. Would you like to go? I wonder what the girls have next on the agenda for us. More cheap date ideas? Oh, like enough. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. I'm trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Well, for the record, I am treating this as a date. I wish you wouldn't. Why? Because I'm no romantic. Believe me, I know. Right. Someone took their sweet time, I see. Better hurry, or the game will start without you. What game? Run wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie wooties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? All right. Wish me luck, okay? 
You do know this is for animals, right? Not people? People are technically animals too, right? So it's cool. Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. Although I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Brett's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R! Give me an E! Give me a D! Across that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only serves to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper. I need to get back to the shop. Like, Yesterday! Yord is at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo! Jay! Wonder what sort of design the girls are gonna come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you wanna see? Me? Yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I prefer function over form. So, durable, may be made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> Okie dokie then. The, 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 the best way to make tracks is on Chocobac! There you are. Okay, I've got a great activity for you. Before that, though, I need to add your information to the system. It'll let you rent a chocobo whenever. That's Kaima. Take good care of her. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. Oh! But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chillin' back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. I don't know about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. Oh. You meant the shells, right? Right. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous! <laughs> Never in doubt. <laughs> we should be able to find some good shells around here. First, we clean up the trash. <laughs> Shells, ready or not, here we come. <sighs> Let's saddle up first, then search. Sounds good. Back on the birds we go. This big before. Hmm, if these things are all this size, I bet the suckers who live in them would make for good eating. Wonder how they taste. 
We could ask a local, but you don't strike me as the type to care all that much. I don't. It's so teeny tiny. You know, a lot of troopers take half a show with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one. Something to say. Oh, that took a turn. <laughs> to me? What about you, Cloud? Are you sure? This is the part where you're supposed to blurt out. I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This date's DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I... sorry. Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? <sighs> Whoa! Huge, right? Dang! That thing belongs in a museum or something! I can't help but wonder what is making her smell from ear to ear like that. Is it the shells? Or... Ha! I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck! I know what to make. But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center. See you there. Next time we need a chocobo, I say we ride double. And slow down the bird? The best way to Which make tracks make it is that on much easier back. to take chocobo in all the scenery. All I'm still steering. <laughs> oh, fine. If you've got to be the man up front, Perfect aim. <laughs> Love might be a game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Wanna land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> My friends, who among you doesn't ache for that? Perfect swimsuit physique! You wanna get ripped? You want a hot fog? Then you better train with the best of the best! So come, come join, join our, our gym, gym and muscle maximize! I'm so glad you came! So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo after all. I absolutely loved it. But the two of us didn't do anything inspo-worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted. Happy couples get us inspired and fired up. Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, Enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, you were pretty nervous. <laughs> Cloud's used to performing in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. Oh, you've got to tell me that one later. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. Yay or nay? 
fire. Have your fun. While you still have time. Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Kid. Thought I'd come see how you were holding up. What? Nothing. Never mind. You're still under the weather, huh? No, I'm fine. Sleep helped. <laughs> so does that mean you'd be up for a little sightseeing with yours truly? Just so happens the Skywheel's running a special for couples. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. Going down to the lobby, sir? See you again soon. <laughs> Considering their plumage and breeding, I think the choice is clear. Welcome to Chocobo Square. Here Welcome to the Chocobo Racetrack. Do you currently have a membership with us, sir? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'm afraid our services are for members only. Oh, man. All of our guests are more than welcome to watch the races on the monitors, however. You'll find them just overhead. Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. Sir! Sir! Uh? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> you want to be a Space Ranger, too? Prefer to keep my feet on the ground. Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ. Mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. The Gilgamesh army is amassing a fleet of Star Wars. Ready for blast off range? You do, 
just fine with your feet off the ground, mister. Do you know her? I do. That's Jessie. She died fighting for Avalanche. You know she was an actress? Yeah. She was a good friend. Not that I deserved one. Just a friend? Or a girlfriend? You can be pretty dense when it comes to that kind of stuff. She gave as good as she got. Never cut me any slack. And yeah, just a friend. Sure was that black and white? I don't follow. You young man, still have a lot to learn. Right? Well, shall we? Yeah. So, where to next? The races, maybe? Not again. Guess they're done for the day, huh? Bummer. Just think, your friend used to perform on this very stage. Yeah. Would have been fun to see. Food in the VIP seats? Wonder. Okay, everyone. Art show. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I spy something a certain all-action mercenary might like. Wanna try? But it's for kids. That's what all the old bogeys say. Whatever. Let's see how it stacks up against the real thing. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. Come on, let's get in line. <laughs> What's going on? I... I don't know. 
your attention, please. We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding and have a wonderful day. Not good. Uh -huh. Not good at all. Soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? Zach. <sighs> Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zach. Zach Fair. Zack? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <sighs> <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him? and to please get in touch. Of course I will. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. Here. Hey. That wasn't very nice of me. You remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's... a lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. I don't know. They didn't seem to mind. Sure they did. But thanks. So, the Zack guy. You still like him? <laughs> wow. You went there, huh? 
Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. Any news? Nothing. No calls, no letters. Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. Another time. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. If I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given.
It is time! <sighs> Whoa! Sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. Such ill omens are by no means a risk. Excuse me, is something wrong? Ah, you again. Nanaki's companions, yes? Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale. Ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past. But always has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, Gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find them. If you are serious, I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot. Though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you. You snuck a shot of me earlier. Nothing sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, let's get a selfie together, okay? Oh. Come here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, perfect. Aerith. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Let's take the photo and go. Sure. Sounds good. Wow! It looks exactly like the photo they gave us. Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? Ah, the falling stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. Mm -hmm. All three of your photographs are precisely what I require. Yes, these will make a marvelous reference for posterity. Hmm. As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity, we have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely it is. And if we take note of their positioning, and connect each with lines, just so. I see it! The pattern! An unprecedented configuration! Hey, what did you wish for? Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just asked the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? Don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. Question, this always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just... Look at this place. You'd never know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. So let me guess. This is where you kept lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. If I was in your shoes, 
I would have been up here all the time. I'm gonna head down. I think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice. To have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it. Which stings. More than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Not a bad place to grow up. I know it's not the village you knew, but it's still nice. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Not a bad place to grow up. God, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Zack was my friend. How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. Following me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remembered, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. Thanks. You gotta tell Eric about this. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? at the Coliseum tomorrow. You'd better rest up before your big day. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs>
You all right there? How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. Oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. You know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Also, the Skywheel's running a special for couples. Limited time only. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Are you here to see Loveless? Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? Sitz du in Pinkula Konie, 
a star. mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Gardia. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfred was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Alfred! Are you unharmed? Rosa! How did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. Shall she guide my place? Pride goeth before the fall. <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of 
your flesh! seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet... All tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. 
the Dragon King Varvado spears only true love. And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Alfred. Ah, face the charade. Love is not what an illusion. Goddess of love, let my blade strike true. of wings and broken I consign you to the abyss an inspiring victory truly proof that love indeed conquers all is it not <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end I wonder will the goddess grant you her blessing or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance. Alfred, look! Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here.
with worn cobblestones Listening to people rushing past To rhythms all their own Life passing me by Not thinking how the years have flown Until I met you
you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic trip through the sights and sounds of the gold saucer, watch Are the you ready to ride? before your very eyes. Each moment more breathtaking. What do you think this does? seems nothing like that. Well, you would know. Right now, I want to be with you. And I'm trying so hard to find you. But I'm right here. Yeah, you are. But... Hey. Did Tifa talk to you about, um... Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers that. How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. At least, not about anything important. Oh.
plans for tonight? You're welcome, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> well, market warriors, you and me. We'll show them tomorrow. Yeah. Now that's not a sight you see every day, eh? But you, we saw you! <sighs> if I bought my clothes, they'd be sobbing in the streets at the saucer. This beautiful body's but one of many. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right, knock <not> off you! <laughs> so, y'all get what you were after? Read the room, dude. Like, come on. Hey, what's gotten into you? Didn't you hear what Aerith said? That's mine. Fine, fetch. Access to the true counterpart hidden between worlds. Give it back! Whoa! <sighs> At last, the time has come.
talk. Right? Shinra HQ, where Hojo should be, along with a cure for Cloud. To the left, Reactor 6, which will get blown up along with Biggs unless I stop him. His hair was long. And gray. Of all the people. Sorry, one more question. Does Aerith... Does she have feelings for Cloud? Yeah, she likes him. She does, huh? Can't say I saw that coming. <laughs> Cause you weren't there. <laughs> Hang in there, Cloud. I got you. Hello? I know you're in there. Time's a-wasting, Cloud. And it's not like we have much left. <laughs> Up and at him, soldier! <sighs> 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 
What is this? Are we? <laughs> we could call it a homecoming. Or homeward bound, maybe? <laughs> Let's just call it a dream. My dream, to be precise. What the hell are you... Shh. Just play along for a bit, okay? to promise not to look up. Hmm? Cause I'm pretty sure you won't like what you see. You know I'm gonna have to look now, right? <laughs> right. There I go, putting my foot in my mouth. When will I ever learn? Whichever one you pick. Why are you acting so weird? Hmm. Well, you are. This isn't you. If you ask hmm? me, I'd probably say, uh, this piece? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna let him choose. Everything is free. But remember, it's one per person. This is it. After much cajoling, Cloud is about to give his very first gift to Aerith. Only question is, which one will he choose? Everything but that one. <laughs> I tell you what, I've got something else I think you'll love. Come on, man. You know, that's actually pretty neat. Perfect, even. <laughs> you kidding me? I'll miss these moments. Thank you both. It's your lucky day, you two. Feel free to take whatever you'd like. Oh, but only one per person. Then we better choose wisely. Oh. 
I'll take one of those. Then I'll have one of those. All right. Hmm. Though these aren't the only treats I've got, you know. How about... my latest creation? Really? Let's try it. Sure. Go on, enjoy. Figured I'd pull out all the stops for my last hurrah. Guess I pulled out one too many. No, it just needs a little sugar, maybe. Yeah, and take out whatever's making my tongue tingle. It sounds to me like I need to start over. If only we all had more time, am I right? So this is where you've been hiding, in a world that has accepted its fate. Hey, what's that? Uh, let's go see. Just as you must. <laughs> Sorry folks, I've only got one shot left. <laughs> We were next. We've been waiting for yeah. ages. We don't have any photos together. We don't have any either. <sighs> okay, um, how about you all pose? Cutest looking couple gets their photo taken. <laughs> Okay, you two. Smile real big for the camera now. Hell yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Later. Bye. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Just have fun while you can, huh? See ya. Now then, where shall we go to next? Before that, talk to me. What's going on with this place? With you? And please don't play dumb. All right. I'll tell you when we get to our spot, okay? Where's that? You really have to ask? Mm. It's one of my most favorite places. Can I make it any more obvious? This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? I mean, why not? Yeah. Why not? At least I know now, where you and I stand, I mean. Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then, like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Because there's liking, and then there's... liking. Seriously, what's going on? You've been weird all day. I'm 
sorry. Thank you. Sorry. I'll be okay. Here. Take it. But your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. So thank you, Cloud. For everything. What is this? of fate are breached. New worlds are born. The planet encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Some quickly perish, while others endure. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned. For it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. In the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be.
Perhaps you need a little push. I give you my blessing. again. You're okay. Sephiroth's here. I can feel him watching us. Yeah. But forget about him for now. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you, Cloud. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Leave Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. And I'm the last. Thanks for returning it to me, Cloud. I appreciate it. But now, it belongs with you. It looks empty. Aerith? Aerith! Come back!
it's okay.
Be gone. Your part is played. How can you want an eternity of loneliness? That's it! Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over. Aerith, wake up.
Can't stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. Tifa, come on. Is it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat. How's this? Oh, shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? for takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair. Reunion. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, one sec. You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> All right, fine. We trust you. 
Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it. Okay, getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? <gasps> then I'll send up smoke! Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Until I met you. 